everybody. <laughs> I just got out of the wind. Hi, Connie here, and uh, it is uh, February 21, um, 2024, and I just had a thought uh, that everyone, everyone should have a house to live in, or a yurt, or a tiny home, or a good RV, a sturdy, or uh, and a house, a home, or shelter, as well as uh, car, a vehicle, something to get around in, and a gun. Because, well, if you have, if everybody has a gun, there won't be any crime. I mean, <laughs> the criminals know that you're a sure shot and they're not going to try anything, even if they have a gun. If they can get them. They can get them. Unless they're a felon. But then they can still get them. <laughs> they can still get them. So, that's what I think everybody should have and has a right to have. Because uh, I know that the when, when the squirrels are born, They've got trees to live in, right? And the bunnies are born and they've got bushes to hide under. And um, they've got shelter. They find their food, but humans? You're born, you're kicked out in the cold. No house, no car, no gun. You better go and get out and get some jobs. Get some jobs and get working. Because you need to earn your keep. <laughs> I don't know if I'll put this up. <laughs> really don't but if everybody had that and everybody deserves it even the deadbeats out there deserve all that because they they wouldn't be deadbeats they'd probably be happy and moving along so uh anyway <laughs> my little southwestern uh, accent is creeping in a little bit <laughs> i should really talk more english and then i would sound a little more like myself but right now i just want to mention this and i just thought of this it's a little shaky here i know you're not supposed to put those on youtube can't, gotta have perfect editing, you know. Well, I'm, I'm learning that. There's a lovely lady named Patera. And she has Appalachia Homestead, I believe. She is moving and growing and doing the best kind of work and is such a smart lady. I just want to put out a word for her. She's on YouTube. Uh, Appalachia Homestead, I believe it is. But she's got such great advice. And I'm just uh, having a thought. That that's what everybody deserves and should have. And once we get rid of the central banks and get our own public or human banks. I don't know what we're going to call them. I'm looking into Old Glory right now, which is in Oklahoma, is a bank that's uh, more focused, focused toward the people and not toward the bankers' wallets and their investors. Get rid of the corporations. Uh, actually listen, or actually adhere to the antitrust laws for once in how many years? And they, they have been ignored. Uh, get some get, get a president in there or if we need a president I'm not for presidents and government much but if we need them and people think they need them and get a good one in get a, a benevolent one in not these benevolent evil horrific people that have been in there since Kennedy was shot and I'm not so sure if before Kennedy if we had anybody good either. FDR was a snake in the grass with putting those Japanese people into in term, into concentration camp and all the other stuff that he did, so my mother used to love him. But she didn't know. You know, our parents didn't know a whole lot. So, but those of us that are boomers that are finally getting it at about maybe 50 or 60 or so, we're getting it, but we're only about 2% of the population. There's only about 168 million of us, and the rest of them are all brainwashed and ready to take on the communist manifesto of diversity and inclusion. Oh yeah. And once they do that, this country is going down the garbage disposal. So um, that's my um, uh, offering today. I could get kicked off, who knows, but there's always rumble and bit shoot and gosh, Odyssey and a bunch of other ones. Thank heaven so far. Okay, so you gotta, you gotta stand your ground, hold the line, and uh, tune in to my, uh, I'll, be, I'll be doing a little more commentary of common sense. And also some insight about traveling on your own or if you decide to take off in your minivan, which I just I just got a used minivan, a, a, the Sienna, a 2008. I'm real proud of it. I'm going to do a non-build uh, van build, and I can't wait to show you that because it's all going to be a, a, a lovely place without asking the guys. And there's, a, there's some great craftsmen out there, but I can't find one up here in the Northwest right now who doesn't give me a song and dance about materials and how much it's going to be and how much he projects and oh, I got all these guys, you know. I said, forget it guys, I'll do my own build, thank you. And it'll be temporary till I can get a really craftsman in there like Paolo, who did one on YouTube where he, he converted a Sienna into a, an off-grid uh, tiny home. It's perfect. Just look up, um, 
I think it's called My Last Sienna Build. And look him up and you'll see all the crazy, wonderful stuff he did um, that was looked like impossible. So this is getting a little long, but I just wanted to say that's all everybody needs. Shelter, transportation. Of course, I got to say this. You got to have love and food. Food and love. Sometimes people find love through food. Not a good idea. You remember, food is your medicine. Eat organic if you can find it. And grow your own. And go to the local markets. And have a community that is completely away and apart from any government agency. Don't be a don't be an NGO. Don't be a, a chapter. What is it called? No, that's that's bankruptcy. Don't don't be a um, whatever the churches have. They have to now adhere to whatever the government tells them, which is the Communist Manifesto. So watch your churches like a hawk. And you don't want tax exemption, because guess what? We don't owe any taxes. Tax is, is theft. I've been studying this a lot for seven years. So I'm just saying that just be watchful and have a good, have a good week. And uh, bless you, all of you. And uh, uh, if, the, if the Christians, if it's between the Christians and the Satanists, I think I know which side I'm going to choose. What about you? <laughs> Bye.